Welcome to this tip presented by the Envision Group. In this tip, we're going to take a MicroStation V8 DGN file and import it into AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010. Here I have a MicroStation DGN file with some cells placed, a shape that has associative dimensioning in it, color table, and some line weights. I also have placed in here a few textiles and placed some text using some different methods by origin, place text along, above, below, and using word wrap. You can see here if I edit the word wrap text, it actually changes. And I also have placed uh, levels in here. We're using Wisconsin DOT standards in this DGN file. You can see the different levels with uh, their line styles associated there. So what we're going to do is take that DGN file that we were just looking at and import it into DG, uh, DWG. So I'm going to go to File, Open, DGN. Select that DGN file and select Open. From there, the Import DGN Settings dialog is going to appear. From here, we can decide which model from the DGN we're going to bring in how we're going to handle the references, what conversion units we're going to use, and define some map settings. From the DGN map settings, I'm going to create a new one based on the standard. I'm going to call this WIST. Import, and click Continue. From here we have different tabs taking a look at the DGN levels to DWG layers and for the most part we're going to just keep those the same. Uh, another thing we can do too is if we're missing anything from one particular file I can add properties from a DGN file. So I can go out there to my DGN file and open that and then any properties that are within that DGN file I can bring in. Same with the DWG. I can add properties from a drawing file and what it's looking for here is the DWT drawing file. So I'm going to actually path myself to the Wisconsin DOT template file here. So here's the WIS.10 DWT file that I'm going to open and bring in any properties from that DWT file. As far as line types go, we're going from DGN line styles to DWG uh, types. So I've got my DGN 0 to continuous. Same thing with the uh, DGN weights to DWG thicknesses and millimeters. And taking a look at the colors. Do a right click to add a color if I want to remap one. I'm going to use the color index from AutoCAD to remap to a DGN uh, color. When uh, working with colors between the two platforms, it is best to try to use true color whenever possible. I'm going to select OK. That one is set up and close this dialog box. You can see here on the uh, tabs now that everything's been set up correctly. I'm going to select OK. And let the file bring it in. And now we're in the uh, new file that's just been imported, the DWG file. Now I can uh, look around here a bit, pan around. I've got my cells are now blocks. I've got my shape that had associative dimensioning and it still does. I can use this file to check my colors. I can check my line weights to line thicknesses now. Taking a look at the text styles to make sure everything looks right. I've got my text by origin and text along. There's actually a little problem there the way that translated. And here's a word wrap. I can still modify that and that works just fine. Taking a look at the levels, you'll notice that the line styles seem a bit off. Uh, the line type scale needs to be typed in here. So I'm going to do LT scale and I'm going to set this actually at a point oh oh one. Each drawing is going to be a little bit different. And that concludes our tip of importing a DGN file into AutoCAD. Thanks for watching.